Greetings, discreet defenders. Today we have a really fun comparison shoot set up between 9mm and 38 Special. And of course, the test guns are both by Ruger, both comparable in size. This one has better capacity, this one has lighter weight. This is the Ruger LCR 1.9 inch barrel 38 Special. This is the Ruger EC9S, kind of a base model 9mm, both. Eh, in the upper range of what you would consider a pocket pistol. And the rounds we have are 150 grain standard pressure target rounds. These are your basic lead wad cutter with the high tech coating, a little 21st century addition. And they're from Underwood, so you know they're gonna be a little hotter than your standard wad cutter ammunition would be. And these are 150 grain standard pressure, nine millimeter target rounds by Federal. This is a Syntec coating and they're pretty much range ammo, really inexpensive, but pretty high quality ammunition as far as I can tell. All right, first up, I'm gonna shoot seven rounds of the nine millimeter Federal 150 grain Syntec coated standard pressure nine millimeter through the Ruger EC9S. And then I'll shoot five rounds from the LCR of the 150 grain high tech coated standard pressure 38 special rounds. We should immediately be able to tell which one is more powerful because the projectiles are the same weight and the only difference should be in velocity. Seven seventy five, eight oh one, eight eleven, eight seventeen, eight fifteen, eight eleven, eight sixteen, empty, nice hold open feature. That is the seven rounds of nine millimeter from the Ruger EC nine S. Now, first up, let's grab a, an a seven shot average there. 806 feet per second. Clear that. And we'll throw the standard pressure, 150 grain, 38 special round. 868. 876, 852, 839, 882. And that was the 150 grain standard pressure, high tech coated Underwood wad cutter coming in. at 863 feet per second average velocity. Now, you might notice here that the 38 Special actually appears to be faster than the nine millimeter. Even though the bullet weights are the same, even though they're both standard pressure rounds, even though the test guns are of comparable size, the 38 Special beats the nine millimeter in velocity, something 38 Special is not known for doing. In fact, until I opened fire today, I had every expectation that the nine would beat the 38 Special by maybe 50 to 100 feet per second. It turned out the other way, but that just goes to show you you can't always assume that nine millimeter is more powerful than 38 special. A lot depends on how the rounds are loaded and who is doing the loading. Thanks folks. This has been Dave with DDR. Have a great week.